Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Icon swaps is what we expected to get, and that is exactly what we got. And what we're going to talk about today is what I think is the best value out of this icon swap set for that is available for 41 days in total. There's two different sets, just like usual, where we have nine tokens available for a couple weeks and some change. And then the rest of the tokens, the second nine, will be made available after that. So August 9th to August 30th, the first set of nine tokens. And again, all of what we're going to talk about today is relative to the time frame and to the state of the game that we're in right now. It is August. It is almost the middle of August. And I think a lot of people don't just want to grind to use a card for like one week before FIFA 22 comes out. So I want to talk about that today and how I think there's a great balance here that you can find with getting a lot of content at not so much... Uh, of an insane time grind at this stage of the game. So I want to put that out there, talk about some of the best value from Icon Swaps for how it affected the market. And with the footies Serie A player pick that was dropped yesterday, how it looks like probably today on Tuesday, we will see a Serie A related weekend league plus requirement dropping into the objective section. So of course that footy Serie A player pick dropped yesterday. Everybody was hunting for Ronaldo's. Uh, Lukaku was a good pull from that. There were some pretty decent pulls from summer stars. Chiesa, Chiellini you could have got as well. Um, but you know, I saw a lot of people get Lapidula. I saw a lot of Chiesa's, Donnarumma, stuff like that. So that Serie A player pick was definitely worth a shot, of course, for the Ronaldo. But it does point again to probably a Serie A weekend league coming today, at least the requirements for a weekend league plus dropping today. Now, also, I'm going to start this off because we're going to talk about it in a video later today, probably a potential double upload. This is a huge day for FIFA 22. Massive, massive day. Today at 4 p.m. UK, 11 a.m. Eastern, the Ultimate Team official trailer is going to be dropped. And also with that, probably pitch notes. There's going to be a ton of stuff to digest from this video and from the pitch notes that they do release because if you remember the gameplay video uh the pitch notes that went along with that were massive so i expect to learn a lot today about preview packs in fifa 22 i expect to learn about maybe some of the new content that they're going to be bringing i'm really excited for this the new icons the new heroes they just finished announcing all of the heroes officially on twitter yesterday uh so they'll probably have some sort of information on when those heroes are going to be in packs and icons, new icons, basically changes to the weekend league, changes to division rivals. It's going to be a huge day with a lot of information to process. So I also want to get your minds ready for that. We'll be covering that later on the channel today, I do believe. But first, at hand is Icon Swaps set number four. And I want to take a look at, you know, how EA Sports slightly disappointed yesterday, but also gave us some avenues for some really, really cool packs. Packs that we have never seen in this game before if you want to take the time and grind for them. I love these packs at the front. I love the times 25, especially with fodder at this point in the game. So many footies SBCs are coming out. Icon moments SBCs, like the 99 Pelé that they released yesterday. We have to talk about that as well. This is going to help big time. And with tons of special cards and packs, it would just be an absolute crazy time to open some of these up, especially on Friday, which is when I plan to hold these. But Moments Kaka for four swaps. I'm a fan of that. Five-star skill, absolute legend. Uh, I like that for four um, swap tokens. Now, this is the first thing I want to talk about. 92 plus Icon Moments player pick. What you really have to look at with a lot of these player picks and how many tokens they cost is how many options there are in the player pick. The 92 plus Moments player pick, five options, that might not be a terrible pick. Not my first one, but five different options means you have a ton of items that will pop up in front of you for only five swap tokens. Baby Eusebio at six is absurd. I don't know why we have a baby card that has been out in this game for 11 months in the menus right now as a grindable card you can get through gameplay. No thanks. That should have been... Uh, pr pr I know Baby Eusebio is kind of a, a very hyped card from last year, but I think that should have been prime or moments Eusebio in my opinion. 94 plus attacker midfielder pack, just a pack, one player. 93 plus attacker, one of five player picks. So it's just attackers, 93 plus, one of five. Most of these, you know, icon player picks are decent. There's a couple of them that stand out though. So that for me, the first one, the 92 plus icon moments player pick stands out for the value. Five choices, 92 plus, five um, swap tokens is all, is all that it takes. These two right here, the attacker midfielder pack, that's mm, decent, but it's only one player. It's not a pick. Pele and Maradona, it is what it is. They both have SBCs out now for higher versions. 94 primer moments player pick, that's decent. 95 icon moments pack. I like this one. 
I like this one because it is a part of the basically best value grind in my opinion. You're getting a guaranteed 95 rated icon, which if you don't get Yashin, Pushkas or Garencha, you're guaranteed a card that is basically over a million coins. Those are the only, these are the only cards. I think there's like, what is this? Like eight, nine, I don't, can't even count them, but there's so few cards that are available through this pack. Pele, R9, Maradona, Zidane, Cruyff, Ronaldinho, Garincha. Uh, there's big name players. If you don't hit Yashin, maybe Maldini, if you don't want a center back, even Garincha, if you don't hit him, that's five-star skiller though. You're getting a really, really good card out of this pack. Now, the only caveat to this is we've had a lot of SBCs for these players. Maradona, um, of course, the prime version of Puskas was in the, in the last swaps, I believe. Um, but Maradona, you've had an SBC for Pele now, Cruyff, Yashin, Ronaldinho, uh, Garincha. So if you've done a lot of those icon moments SBCs, this pack might not be a good choice for you because you could very well get a dupe. So just kind of putting that out there to be careful with that. But I think for 12 tokens, my best value option out of all these swaps is to do the one, two, three, and then from there, kind of figure out what you want to do, right? And I'm going to be doing these first three packs, saving them for Friday with batch number three being out with 99 Ronaldo, 99 Messi, 99 Neymar, Summer Stars, PTGs, in packs again. I'm going to be doing these, saving them for Friday. And then from there, where you kind of go, it's kind of up to you. That's what I think, though, the 12 swaps from this and the... Um, six swaps that it would cost you from here would probably be your best match for a total of 18. Now you could maybe throw in the five swap 92 plus player pick if you didn't want to grind all the way to 12. Um, I just like how this is guaranteed to be a really insane icon out of that 95 plus. Um, if you want moments Maldini, of course, you could take a chance and go to 15 swaps to get him. 94 plus icon moments player pick with one of five options. That could be a pretty insane player pick as well, since there's not that many cards that are 94 plus. And then, of course, Zidane being available with 17 swap tokens. The only people going for Zidane are probably ones that have wanted this card in their endgame team this entire year. And if they haven't got them already, this is a way to get them untradeable. So for me, I just don't want to spend that much time playing the game and playing squad battles in August. Uh, for rewards and for cards that if I pack something sick, I'm probably going to only be able to use it for the next literally like three weeks and that's it. So I'm not really going to go super hard on swaps. That's why I'm going with the fodder packs. Again, I feel like almost every single time this year since they've introduced the fodder packs, that has kind of been the way to go with some of these icon swaps. Again, in my opinion, icon swaps has been super duper underwhelming this year. It's only been the last two Icon Swaps 3 and Icon Swaps 4 now that have had some decent uh, rewards in them for the time frame and where we at on FIFA. And, and still, I think that Icon Swaps 3 and 4 were a bit behind the curve, but it makes sense because usually gameplay objective rewards are a bit behind SBCs um, and where the market is. So, of course, there was a lot of um, price drops on those icons that were in swaps. Kaka was 600k. He dropped down to 400,000. Rose back up now to about 470,000 coins. Uh, this Maradona was not really down that much, and he's actually kind of at a low price at the moment. I'm trying to find one maybe around a mil. Think he could bounce back up a little bit. Eusebio was down in the 500s. He's back up 100,000 coins. So a very nice fluctuation on some of those icons, as we usually see, whether they get an SBC or whether they get into swaps. You usually see some panic selling. And then a little bit of a rebound because again, if somebody who is wanting to go after that moment's Zidane card, they're not going to be able to attain that item until be the first week of September. First week of September is how how long it's going to take before the next set of swap tokens are released to get this Zidane. So again, it's an open book, right? However much you want to grind, you've got a lot of opportunities with these insane icon moments upgrade packs, and of course the fodder packs as well, which are probably going to be pretty cracked on Friday for those new batch three cards that will be in packs. So that is the, uh, in my opinion, all that there is to talk about icon swap set four. I guess the only other issue is they could have made these a little easier. The icon swaps like win four games, assist in 10 separate rivals or um, friendly matches. I mean, I'm going to be doing this, these six probably right here. I'm only going to be doing these six um swaps to get my packs and then i'm out so that's all that i have to do play some rivals weekend league um maybe if if it's not too bad of an issue maybe i'll do some of these golden goal ones but i hear that some people are not doing golden goal uh i've already started on some of the squad medals games for air divisi silvers but um you know that's kind of where i'm going with the icon swaps for 
content. Now let's fast forward it into today again. Uh, well, actually first, before we do that, let's take a look at Pele because I know Pele is a huge SBC. I don't know why they didn't drop it on Sunday. 29 squads. I know some people are really wanna, gonna, going to want to go after this card. 390 rated squads. Again, I'm sitting here scratching my head because EA Sports, you said that there's potential for icon requirements in these icon SBCs this year. And we never have seen, we never saw one. Unless you're going to drop one like in the next two weeks or so with an R9 SBC and you're going to require an icon. We have not seen icon requirements this year, even though you left the book open to that being a possibility in FIFA 21. Just put icons in, require icons for these squads and make, you know, maybe cut off some of the squads. 29 squads is so many for Pele. I mean, if you take a look on the squad building section, um, let's go to icons here. I want to show you how much I think this Pele is because it's not registering on footbin. But if you have Rude Hullet, who is 25 sections at 2.3 million coins and with 29 sections on Pele with more higher rated squads, I think this is coming out at around 3 mil. I really think that it is, which yes, is technically a nice undercut under the 4.8 mil price range that he is. But the only reason why it's that cheap is because still you have 90 rated cards on this game with all the TOTS cards that are in packs right now for 18K. 18,000 coins is how much some of these 90 rated cards are, which is making it the cheapest 90 rated squads of all time in this game. I mean, during earlier parts of the year, 90 rated cards are like 60K. Look at Allison, right? During the second half of the year, 40, 50, 60,000 coins. Even 80K during the huge influx um, of the Moments SBCs or the mid-icon upgrade pack that was released in March, the player pick went up to 111,000 coins. So it just goes to show how the pack supply right now is making all that fodder so, so cheap, except for the low tier fodder with the rares and stuff, which we've talked about. Uh, but still, I think that's just too much at this stage of the game. I think that should be, all these icon SBCs should be cheaper, but especially that Pelé is just very very, very expensive. So again, rolling into Tuesday, of course, with the FIFA 22 news on tap, of course, with the footies player pick that we saw yesterday for a Serie A specific reward. I think that today on Tuesday, we will see Serie A specific week and league plus requirements. That didn't affect the market too much. A lot of Serie A cards, as we talked about on last night's video, uh, were getting invested in. You saw a lot of these cards that were in summer stars like Spinozola, like Locatelli, Items that people, of course, would think, hey, people are going to buy these up for their weekend league teams. These cards are already kind of starting to go up. So we didn't have any crazy price rises yesterday in terms of Serie A cards. Insignia is up like 10K. Teo Hernandez is up like 10 to 15,000 coins. But across the market in general, I didn't see a ton of prices just absolutely boom up. Um, Chiellini is up. Chiesa is up. But they didn't go crazy, right? Because people kind of expected this. They invested for it. And that's why you didn't see prices go up a lot. Now, today, when the app, uh, the actual objectives do get released, yeah, you might see some of these cards jump up in price a little bit. It'll all... Ooh, 90K? I don't mind if I do? All right. Never mind. Um, but... You might see a little bit of a jump up like right away when the objective is released today, if that is the case, just because people will go out and buy some cards um, for their clubs to kind of fill in those requirements and get ready for the weekend league um, if they do plan to play with those requirements. So that's one thing to kind of watch out for is that objective coming today. Now, I also don't ex entirely know what to expect today on Tuesday. It's been 86 plus upgrade uh, that player pick, the 86 plus player pick has dropped like for the past two or three Tuesdays. You can see it here. Uh, I th I guess that could re-up itself today. I feel like though right now, what everybody is concerned about is icon swaps, getting their tokens, getting this on a roll, getting moving with it. it this is also helping me finish a tall and the Adama milestones that I haven't exactly finished yet. So I think people are gonna be just doing swaps and grinding gameplay uh, this week. Now also the 82 plus player pick for me, I did a few of those yesterday on stream. I know that I kind of misjudged the value of this. The first one I got a, a, a walkout team of the season and Dombele duplicate from, which I was very happy with. After that though, it kind of went sour. I'm sticking to the gold upgrades and doing 85 times 10, even though these do seem to be a little bit nerfed. Again, if you want to save some more packs for Friday in batch three, I feel like this 85 times 10 is definitely the way to go. Crafting it with gold upgrade packs, getting buying non-rares and putting those non-rares into the upgrade packs. And then you'll fill your club up with rares and some higher rated cards to finish the 85 times 10. So that's, again, just kind of the grind that is happening right now in 
this game of FIFA. A lot of the rest of the market is just kind of chilling. But again, I'll give you guys another heads up. If you have any of these cards in your teams, um, these guys should be coming back into packs on Friday. You, you can see that Neymar is down to 3.3 mil. I literally think that all these cards are going to nosedive because Friday is going to be a huge, huge day of supply, both with tradable and untradable packs with batch three. People have been saving packs and not opening for the past couple of weeks because they know that the batch three cards that are coming are going to be insane and they want to save their packs to get some of these insane summer stars items that we had during the Euros. Um, and then also you think about all the 85 times 10s that are going to be saved. You think about all of the uh, swaps packs that people are going to do this week. People are going to have tons of fodder and tons of packs available for Friday. So that means any SBCs that come out after Friday, if they want to drop a Renato Sanchez, perfect timing, EA Sports, to do that because people are going to have tons of fodder um, after opening their safe packs. So that's just kind of prefacing what could happen later on in the week. Uh, maybe a player SBC today, potentially. Um, of course, people are, are asking about more Serie A uh, player SBCs. That would probably be the focus um, of today on Tuesday if there is a player SBC, if something to do with the Serie A. Now, also, I, I didn't mention this, but we had a vote. We had a vote yesterday for a SBC that will come on uh, Wednesday for Quadrado versus Pedro. I think Quadrado is handily going to win this vote. I mean, you take a look at this guy, five-star skill right back especially like this is the right back that you're going to use in the Serie A with the Piemonte Calcio, aka Juventus Lynx. He's already got a 91 rated team in the season card. This new one that comes out is probably going to have 99 pace. Um, if they give him a weak foot upgrade, that'd be fantastic. Uh, and this card's going to be incredible, right? He's going to be incredible. I think he wins the vote and you're going to have a lot of people that want to use that Quadrado as he's already, this guy was a very popular right back for pros earlier in the year with his man of the match card with his, I think rule breakers item. I think he had a rule breakers card, right? Was it 84 rated? Whatever, whatever one of these were, I thought he had a rule breakers um, and then an inform maybe, but I remember this 86 man of the match being a card that a lot of people um, liked to use earlier on this year in FIFA. So, or sorry, yeah, 84. Yeah, there's an 84 inform, the rule breakers, and then the 86 is a man of the match, I believe. So he's been a very popular card this entire year. I think that he's going to win the vote and we'll see his SBC on uh, Wednesday when hopefully they don't cancel it because they're not adding traits this time to this SBC. So grind squad battles, grind those icon swaps games if that's what you're going after right now. Um, and just continue to keep an eye on the market, man. It's just, just whenever there's icon swaps and stuff like this out in the game, it seems like some of the market hype just kind of dies off a little bit. And some prices actually fall because of it, because people are more worried about grinding the games, grinding the objectives and getting those cards in their club uh, more than about the stuff that is actually happening on the market, buying players, selling players, and stuff like that. So that's kind of the thing today. Watch out for a FIFA 22 related video coming later today. I'm going to try to get one of those up because there's going to be a lot of stuff to kind of digest and talk through today with FIFA 22 related information coming out. So that's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below what you're going to be taking from Icon Swaps and your opinions on that content yesterday. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nathan Photo Account, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.